legislation. Some experts used in the family courts to help decide the future of children's lives are not even qualified. Last month, we exclusively broadcast a startling piece of research which raised a number of serious issues about the quality of evidence given by psychologists in family courts. For tonight's special report, our social affairs editor Jackie Long reveals how flawed evidence from other experts, including paediatricians and psychiatrists, can result in devastating consequences for families. With children's whole lives in the balance, who knows best? How experts are the experts? Our last report unveils alarming research about psychologists used in the family courts. So could their shortcomings lead to perverse decisions? The Family Justice Council overseeing reform of the family courts thought it unlikely. Tonight, we reveal mistakes by other experts, paediatricians and psychiatrists, that can have life-changing consequences. We've discovered that flawed expert testimony is having a profound and disturbing effect on some family cases as they move through the system. At its most extreme, ending with children being wrongfully removed from their parents. This mother in Essex has a child with a rare health condition, but after rushing him to emergency one day, she found herself the subject of an investigation by the authorities. As part of that investigation, a paediatrician who had not seen her son for years was called to give her opinion. The meeting that was held behind her backs at the GP surgery, the paediatrician appeared. She hadn't seen my son in two to three years and she claimed that I had fabricated his illness and disability. And that expert turned out to be central to what happened next. On the basis of the paediatrician's assessment, care proceedings were launched with Sharon accused of harming her child. And he admits that you're an abuser. And I said to him, no, I'm not an abuser. And I will not accept that. And I'm not going to. I'm going to fight this all the way. And he just said, sure, it's been proven. Everybody around that table, the majority of them voted for child protection. Faced with losing her child, Sharon and her partner did fight, leading the council to launch a thorough investigation. It found the expert evidence was mistaken or exaggerated and that the allegation could not be proven. The case was dropped. I was totally, totally shocked, and especially with her having no evidence to support her accusations. How, how they can do this to people is just outrageous. Essex apologised and agreed to pay some compensation. The cases we've looked at seem to rely heavily on just one or two experts. For this family who we can't identify, a paediatrician's report left them facing the prospect of being torn apart. The expert judge the mother, Sally, has fabricated illness in the children. How he come to that view perplexes her to this day. He managed to write a several hundred page report that stated we were in danger to the children. He'd never seen us when he wrote that report. He'd never met me, the children, or my husband. On the basis of the assessment, the local authority sought the immediate removal of the children. It was decided that we were likely to seriously harm the children. And it might as well have killed me saying that. There's no way I'd ever hurt my baby. The worst thing any parent could be accused of. Over time, it became clear the evidence just wasn't there and the case was withdrawn. The judge criticised Coventry City Council, the local authority involved, for its complete and uncritical reliance on the expert report, which Coventry later conceded was deeply flawed. The judge also criticised the report, which cost £35,000. You can't write a report damning somebody that you've never met. It's ludicrous. The expert in the case was Dr. Deepak Canabar, a senior consultant paediatrician in London. We approached Dr. Canabar, who told Channel 4 News it had been a highly complex case. In a statement, he said, I have always stated my role as an expert witness very seriously and strive to ensure any report I produce is well founded. I prepared a report for the court and was never asked for any further information or clarification. I followed my instructions to the letter. Due to patient confidentiality, he said he would say no more. In its statement, Coventry City Council said, We have separately made mistakes.
mistakes in the management of this case, which we very much regret, particularly around our analysis of the forensic assessment provided by the medical expert. To protect the children's privacy, we cannot share important facts about the case. But it concluded, we have now changed the way we work to make sure that we will not make the same mistakes. There is undoubtedly increased scrutiny of experts in the family courts at the moment. While some experts accept there is room for improvement, they say they are just one element of a complex process. It's not the role of the expert to decide whether or not a child is removed or sent back to a birth family or is put up for adoption. That decision is solely for the judge. Expert evidence only forms one part of the evidence the judge considers. So there will be reports from a social worker, what we call assessments, there will be parenting assessments, there may be information from the child's school, their teachers, health visitors, medical records. So a whole plethora of information is used by the judge to decide whether or not a child goes back to his parents or is a put up for adoption. It's clear experts can and do play a valuable role, but with the stakes so high, the cost of getting it wrong is enormous. Families we've spoken to so the expert testimony is flawed, the consequences can last a lifetime. We can to speak to one mother, still trying to come to terms with the role an expert plays in separating her from her children for years. Because of the secret nature of family court proceedings, we can't reveal key details of this case, but like the others, it hinged on experts. Oh, so Sharon's so story began when struggling with four young children, yeah. she turned to social services for help. But it was decided that it was her parenting which posed a risk to the children, and she ended up in court, threatened with losing them all. I knew I'd have problems, don't get me wrong, I knew that I, you know, I, I needed some support and help there, but I couldn't quite understand what I'd done that severely to take them off me forever. In the end, the court ordered the removal of the three boys, and hardest of all, the adoption of her youngest child. I wasn't allowed to say goodbye, I wasn't allowed to say, you know, I love you, I miss you, or anything like that. So I had to go into the room with my father that was going give her a cuddle, just act normal, and I give her a little present. And then when I came out of there, social services told me I wouldn't see her again. But she never gave up fighting the experts' opinions about her, ultimately overturning the judgment, and in an exceptionally rare case, winning her daughter back from the brink of adoption. I didn't see him for maybe two years, you know, so it's still a long time not to see a little girl, you know what I mean? When you knew that earth smart than anything, I think that She says the fact she has now been allowed to rebuild her life with her three sons is further vindication of the injustice done. And this too, from one of the doctors involved with the family's case. I'm terribly sorry for the tragedy you have all suffered. I'm sorry I wasn't able to prevent it happening in the first place. What are your thoughts now? I lost my children through the mistakes that the experts felt that I had made during my parenting, and I'd like to ask the experts um, what's going to happen to them because of their mistakes. It's absolutely ruined a whole family, and I'd like to know what, you know, where it's just good. Experts in family hearings can help change the course of a child's life forever. The Ministry of Justice has pledged that experts will only be used where strictly necessary and should always be of the highest quality. With care proceedings at record levels, it's perhaps never been more important to get it right. Check along with that special report.